Hello to all my wonderful Torians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Sunday, Taurus. Just happy Sunday. Hopefully you have set your intentions. I hope you have a great day today. I know you are because that's the intention you set. So we're going to get right into your reading, Taurus. Yes, Taurus. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. First of all, let me dote on you for just a second, Taurus. Let me take my time and dote on you because I want to sh share with you how other people actually see you. You're thought of as a serene influence, someone that people can really, really depend on. And you're really admired for your organized mind. Not many people realize that you're sensitive and you're easily wounded. You are trusted as a taskmaster. I'm sorry. You're, you're trusted as a tastemaster. Excuse me, I said taskmaster. Um, and you're artistic um, and your all of your opinions are welcome. Um, because you have sound instincts about money, your financial advice is also sought, you know, so I want you all to, this is, okay, we're moving towards a new moon, right? I want you to get back to who you've always been. I'm talking about instinctively who you've been, Taurus. So we're going to really get into your reading. We have four planets that's retrograde right now, currently as of today. It is a waning gibbous moon, but we are moving towards a new moon. That means new, new, new energy, right? So we're going to tie all of this in together. Plus, we're going to be talking about the number 21. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Torians as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect. Ooh, cars trying to jump out, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful gods and goddesses, my Torians? What information do we have from our wonderful Torians? What information do we have? Yes, what information do we have? Mm -mm. Yes, Taurus. There's something to love about each and every sign. And when you vibrate high, you'll see it. Like you'll see the beauty in every sign. Even if that sign is not on your frequency, even if that sign, you and that sign never get a chance to work together or being any kind of a relationship together, you can see people at their highest frequency, even when they can't see themselves. That's like, that's like Taurus seeing the potential in people and they don't see it yet. Like you can see that the person is intelligent and they can go far and they can do very, very well, but they don't see it in themselves yet. And you can see that they're out of balance and they're really in struggle with themselves. You can still step back, protect yourself, and still see the best in them by not, and not get contaminated by it, right? Yeah. That was just on my spirit to share that with you all. Here we have the Four of Swords, right? See somebody sleeping better. Yes, we have the Queen of Swords. That's because this person right here has earned their rightful rightful place on their throne. They have a sword in their hand. They are becoming more um, action oriented. Your energy is being directed outward. You're being ba you're balancing out your energy. So maybe you have Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in your chart, but you're learning how to really stand in your power, right? And then we also have the Page of Wands, and you're having your childlike exuberance. You could also have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Some of you all are really going after business, like really starting to think, I'm going to go ahead and start my business. I'm already a leader. I've always been a leader. I've always been a visionary. So maybe I can, maybe I can go ahead and do this thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can open up a daycare center. Maybe I can, you know, um, start selling crystals and gemstones. Maybe I can, hmm, maybe I can go ahead and do that business thing I've always been saying I wanted to do. Maybe I'm going to just go ahead and pursue it. And guess what? Great idea, Taurus, because it's going to do very, very well, right? Very well. We also have the seven of wands, right? So there's a lot of, there's a lot of divine masculine energy already in your reading. We're all off the top. It's a lot of divine masculine energy. So you all are divine feminine by default. Your energy is cyclic, right? So you need some time to kind of sort of process things before you just come right out with it, which can be frustrating sometimes for divine masculine signs because it's not that they think quicker or anything like that. Um, 
they just come right out and say it. They process it, boom, and just come right out and say it. Come right out and do it, right? And that fire energy or that that seem like you've just been hit with a gust of air, you know, from an air sign or, you know, somebody who has a real sharp tongue, you know, seem to cut you off quickly or maybe come across as even rude or even aloof sometimes can be very off-putting. However, you're learning to tap into the fire and the air in your own chart, right? Maybe you had some influence by, you know, being around an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or even a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that was very off-putting for you. But once you vibrated higher and you saw the them at their highest frequency, you said, hmm, I know they can learn a lot from me, but what can I learn from a sign at a higher frequency? What I mean by that is, let's say, for instance, you have, um, you know, um, let's say you have air in your chart, right? Let's say you pull your birth chart and you have air in your chart, right? That would mean that you, um, you could be flexible very outgoing, very funny. And this is adding to all the other, all of the powerful things that you bring to the universe. Because by default, by default, Taurus, you're very logical, very trustworthy and generous, very determined, very understanding, very kind, organized, very patient, you know, um, practical, you're devoted, you're responsible, you're stable, you're reliable, right? But imagine adding to that because now you've gone into the other rooms in your house, your spiritual house, and you said, okay, oh, wait a second. I have air in this room. I have access to the characteristics of air in this room. I, I can be flexible, outgoing, funny, enthusiastic, versatile, you know, romantic even, charming. I'm a great listener, fair-minded, idealist. I'm very open-minded, a humanitarian, a, you know, creative spirit, very free-spirited, intellectual. This is you going and opening up the doors to some of the other rooms in your spiritual house. So look at it from this analogy because, again, you all are very logical thinking people. Your physical house, where you live right now. Even if you live in a one bedroom or even if you live in a studio apartment, you still have a door for the most part to your restroom, right? Your kitchen is in a separate spot. Like if you can imagine like it, things being sectioned off, what do you have in your bathroom? What do you have in your kitchen? <laughs> what do you have in your... So you're not just... None of us are just comprised of just our sun sign, right? That's your identity, but it's also your ego. That's everybody, you also have other rooms in your house, right? And so that's in your spiritual house as well. So let's say you have, you know, power and intellect in, I mean, aside from you being an earth sign, you also have air in one room, you have fire in another room. What are, what can you, what can you glean from the fire and air in your chart, right? What if your, your moon sign is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra? That moon governs our mood, emotions, and subconscious habits. What if your um, Venus is fire, right? Le um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, right? Venus um, governs our creativity, our love, you know, that, that sensual or sexual part, you know, of ourselves, all of that, right? So this is you jumping into going from one room to the next, like, hmm, I didn't realize I had this in here. I didn't have, I wouldn't realize I had this in here. And then making the best out of all of those, right? Utilizing all of those. Like I said, we're in a waning gibbous moon, but we're also moving towards a new moon in five days, which is great. The new moon energy is a quiet time. When you look in the sky on it for a new moon, it just looks like a slither of a piece of a moon is there, like a <laughs> just a slither. It almost looks dark, like it's a dark moon, but it's not. There's a slither of a moon you see there. That's your quiet time. Almost like sort of another analogy, you're going to sleep at night and um, you turn the light off, but you leave the door cracked just a little bit. That's how the moon is going to look like. It's just a little like a slither of light right there. And that's this completely dark moon, but 
like a slither of light. Your body is starting to wind down a little bit. That's your quiet time. So that's when your mind starts to maybe think, you know, like what kind of, where can I plant seeds at, right? That's where your mind is starting to think, what the nurturing your creative plans and your ideas. This is a time for you to really dream, like really dream like when you're by yourself and you're just kind of saying, hmm, I could do this, I could do that. And this is what I'm seeing here as far as business is concerned. You've always been a leader, you've always been a visionary. So now it's time to put some fire, some flames up under that. Yes, that's what I'm seeing for you. This is also a good time to strategize, envision where you want to go and allow those answers to come through stillness, right? Because remember, it's a quiet time. Or for you as an earth sign, through nature. Yes, through nature. Very, very, very powerful. Very powerful. Let's talk about the number 21 for just a second because 21 is extremely, extremely powerful number. So we're in the year of 2021, right? So 21, always think of the number 21, which reduces to three. But when you think about the number 21, think of this phrase, the truth shall set you free right? The truth shall set you free. The vibration of 21 means that you are here to help set everyone, including yourself, free from what is false, free from what is superfluous, or free from what's misleading. You're also highly creative. You're versatile. You're a very well-rounded person. You can express yourself through any modality, any career, any form, or any material. As your message penetrates all forms and reaches people's hearts, so step into the vibration of the number 21 and really free yourselves. This is you getting back to you. Remember how I told you how people see you already, Taurus. People see you as this serene influence, someone that they can really depend on. And you're really admired for your organized mind. Yes. Mm-hmm. So now this is, a, this is a time to make it all about you, right? Really, really make it all about you, Taurus. Getting back to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Right. So we have the justice card that just popped out, right? Justice being in your favor. So again, you want to balance out your energies. You want to focus on, we're not talking about just court justice, right? That could be one thing. But we're also talking about moral justice, right? You just getting back to you. This justice card is divine masculine. It's Libra's card, but it's Libra, it, although it's divine masculine, this is um, the planet is Venus, divine feminine, right? So you want to get back to doing some things that you love. Remember I said four planets are retrograde. We have Pluto that's retrograde. You want to continue decluttering because um, that's the planet of death, rebirth, declutter things within you and around you. So some of the things that we can declutter within us is... You know, um, um, being unyielding, for instance, that can be something like, because your, your symbol is the bull, right? But being unyielding is something that you can probably declutter. Any fear, any doubt, declutter, right? Walking by faith um, instead of walking in fear or operating in fear. Because that's going to make you feel magnetic, on fire, attractive and i'm not talking about just physically attractive i'm just talking about just like really feeling like you're almost skipping through life like <laughs> that's what i'm getting a vision of somebody like skipping down the street just happy about their lives we also have the strength card tapping into your strength right really really tap this is leo tapping into your strength right we also have um we have the ten of cups right so this is you being in harmony with yourselves which is great Harmony within yourselves actually creates, you, you, you exude love, you exude harmony. People are attracted to that. Maybe somebody's going to court up against a Leo, I don't know. But nevertheless, justice is in your favor, right? Um, this is where you're being really, really happy with your life. And also you having the Midas touch. This is another reason why what's really prevalent in your reading, Taurus, is you going after whatever business ventures you've been thinking about doing. Selling crystals and gemstones or um, starting a YouTube channel, starting a daycare center or opening up a daycare center. Whatever it is you want to pursue, go after it. Like really be action oriented. Take go after because, like I said, justice is in your favor. Things it it's all systems are a go, right? Um, 
Saturn is also retrograde right now. Saturn is the planet of ambition. This is where you're going to tap into that ambitious side of yourselves. Just like go for it. Like really, really go for it. You're a fixed sign. If you're going to fi be fixated on something, be fixated on success. Be fixated on peace. Be fixated on happiness, right? Um, also, like I said, we're moving towards new moon energy. But right now we're currently in a waxing I mean, I'm sorry, waning gibbous moon. That means that things are falling out of range, right? Let them fall by the wayside. Let them fall by the wayside. Relationships are over. Let them fall by the wayside. Keep vibrating high. You don't have to say or do anything negative about the person or to the person or about the person. You just keep vibrating high and watch the money fall right into your hands. Watch. Also, again, activating your crown chakra, right? God level of clarity. You don't even realize how many people are sitting back watching how you handle situations, Taurus, right? A lot of people are sitting back watching how you handle situations. And so even some of the most challenging situations, people are sitting back watching you to be their guide. Not their God, their guide. A God is a creator, right? Meaning you, a creator can speak things into existence and know that they have the power to do so. But you're not trying to be someone else's God. There are a lot of people sitting around you watching you handle situations to see because they, they're looking for guidance, right? And so they're looking to you to be a guide, not their guide. So we can be very, very clear. So yeah, go for it. Like I said, everything is in your favor when it comes to just what's happening right now. Go after your dreams. That's Neptune. Neptune is retrograde also. So that's encouraging you. It's the planet of illusion. So that's encouraging you to go after your dreams. Also, you want to ground yourselves. So for you all who like gardening, go out and dig your hands in the dirt, in the soil, right? If you don't have a garden and you like to replant, like I like to replant my beautiful plants that I have, <laughs> stick my hand in the dirt, right? Just garden, put your garden gloves on, of course. Um, if you want to go hug a tree, you can go hug a tree. You can go walk around outside in the park. If you have a local park that you feel safe walking with, um, walking in your local park, do that. But you want to get outside. You want to remove any stale energy from you because you know, hey, listen, it's time for me to really go after my dreams. Like, like really, really go. Forget all that other stuff. If a relationship has ended, let it go um, without any resistance whatsoever because that's what the waning gibbous moon represents. Letting things go, fall out of range with no resistance whatsoever. Looking forward to the new moon. This is a time to plan to just continue to declutter, remove stuff from your space. And like I said, and go after your dreams because things are unfolding for you right now. You have the Midas touch. You have the universe on your side. Tap into your strength. Do some grounding. Boom, Taurus. And all of a sudden you see things happen for you. But don't forget to do this, Taurus. Because you all are earth signs. I always recommend the earth signs write down exactly what their intentions are and speak it into existence. Say it. Come out of your mouth. Just say it. And then you'll look back on it and say, wow, I wrote this down and I'm actually seeing it unfold. Unbelievable. Watch. It's going to happen. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Have a great Sunday. Bye.